Hello. Okay, so in this video, I want to go through what is system IO, and then I want to show you how to set it up for yourself. So basically, let's jump in and system IO is a funnel builder, it's a email marketing platform, it's an online course builder, you can run your affiliate program from there, um, you can have webinars on there. It is basically an all-in-one platform that lets you do everything and you can start it completely for free. Um, you can have it free until you have 2,000 email subscribers or until you need some other functionality in it. So like um, if you want to track more things with tags, there's a limit on how many tags you can actually use in the free account, um, but it's a really great starting place. So I'm going to share my screen and show you what it looks like and how to set up a brand new account. Okay, so once you are logged in, this is what you will see. It's just pretty empty. This is your main dashboard. So in the main dashboard, when people sign up for your email list, you'll see them here. So it'll say new leads. Um, and this will also be when you get sales. You'll also see it spike here. And you'll have live updates here, which will show you the last person that signed up for your email list or bought something from you. Um, and if there's any tags applied to someone, it'll sort of show it all here like a, a running updates list. Um, now, I haven't set this up. This is a completely free account that I just set up to test and show you guys. Um, so you, you'll see here that you need to complete your profile in order to receive payments. So you can just click on this and it will take you to your account section and you just need to fill it out. So once it is filled out, then you can move on to the next step. So I'll quickly fill it out and save it. So the next thing that you want to do is update the time zone. So you just go down to the accounts section there and you want to pick your own time zone. Oh, look, we can type it in. Okay, and then you want to pick the date format. So in Australia, we have day, month, year. But if you're in America, you would have month, day, year. So just pick what you'd like there and how you'd like the time to be displayed as well. Do you want the hour and the minute? Do you want AM or PM on it? We don't want seconds, so yeah, I think that's fine. And hit save. Now you're not on a plan initially, but this is what the plans include. So the free account, this will tell you exactly what is allowed in the free account and when you need to upgrade. So if you um, are looking at having one course, one blog, um, maybe one website with lots of different offers on it, you're not going to need to upgrade until you get over that 2,000 contacts. But if you wanted to have um, five courses or two blogs, then it's time to upgrade into um, the startup pack. And then you can go up from there. This is the highest that the um, account will ever be and it's completely unlimited for everything so I think it's a fantastic deal because other platforms like Kartra etc they are hundreds and hundreds of dollars per month and they scale when you scale so I think that this is a really great deal so next you want to go to payment gateways now you want to connect whatever payment method you are going to be using so this may be that you are using Stripe and maybe that you're using PayPal We've got these other options as well, um, but these are the two main ones. So I'd set up one or both of these. So if you don't already have a Stripe account, I'd probably connect one or get one if you can. Um, otherwise, you can accept PayPal for everything. Um, the main difference is that Stripe, you have to use a card of some sort to pay for it, whereas PayPal links to people's bank accounts as well. So it gives them that other option if they don't have a card that they can use to pay, um, then they can just use it straight out of their bank account. Um, so a lot of people do like using PayPal. So I'm just going to pause my screen and I'm going to connect Stripe and PayPal. Okay, so in this instance, I decided to just connect Stripe. So that is all we have done here. Just because it's a test account, I thought it's not worth going through the effort of connecting everything else. So subscriptions is if you are running a membership in here. Emails is if you want to set up a specific email address to send your um, business emails from to your email list, then you would add it here and then verify it. So if you click here, um, 
you'll be able to add in your own email address. So with your own domain name, um, and then you can confirm that. So you can enter it in here with your sender name and anything that you want to have displayed in the footer, you can add here as well. Then also when you have courses set up in here, they want you to add a photo to your course for your teacher photo. So it's a good idea to upload this at the very beginning to up upload a photo if you have one um, so that whenever you get to that stage, you've already got it in there. Now this one is um, like the terms that are gonna show up onto um, your payment pages. So you probably wanna select your um, currency and then you probably want to enter in your company name. This is if you wanna add in any tracking codes. So like if you were doing Facebook ads or anything like that, I suppose that's where you would put your um, pixel details. Affiliate program, if you wanted to um, run an affiliate program, you can do that through this um, WISE account. You can set that up to receive money. If you have a custom domain, you can actually add your custom domain up here. Otherwise, you can use one that System.io gives you. If you're going to be using API keys for anything, this is where they will be stored. If you're going to integrate with Active Campaign, then you can link it here. This would also be for um, System.io if you were getting commissions paid from them. So you would have your PayPal email address in there. Then under notifications, you're going to select what you want to be notified about and what you don't want to be notified about. If you want to add an assistant to help you in here, you can do that here by just inviting them and putting in their email address. And then of course, if you wanna change your password, you just click that bottom option. That's basically how you set up the backend. Um, so now all you need to do is start going through and setting up all the functionality that you want in there. So let's just save this. And so now that your account is set up, if you go back to the main dashboard, you're pretty much ready to start building out your all-in-one program.